Hey, this is Ashley James with Foyer, and we're going to talk about uploading objects to Neo. Step 1.obj file upload. Starting from the toolbar on your left, choose Upload, and then select Upload Model from your documents. Your next step is to input the model details. So you can change the name of the model and you can choose the category for where you want to be able to search for it. All of these details are going to help you for a quick search um, just for any future use. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. And the top, bottom, right, left, this is how your model docks within the plane that you choose, whether you want it to be the wall, ceiling, or floor. So as you see, we have ceiling, floor, or wall where you can dock your model. And you can also change your unit of measure as well and your aspect ratio. Very good to make sure that your dimensions are correct. That way when you scale your space, your model scales as well. And the upload is very quick. Step three, search and textures. So you can either go to my models or you can go under catalog and just search for the name that you gave your 3D model. And uh, that's going to show up. You just click, drag, and drop it like you would with any other cat um, uh, catalog option. And then you can manipulate and move around in Neo like you would with anything else, which is super cool. Now, the color and, and texture you're going to see on here is the basics. That's your base model. And what we're doing now is click, dragging, and dropping this uh, creamy velvet over. And we're going to add a little pop of color on there as well. And again, if you have your own uploaded textures as well for fabrics or designs that you've created, you can also upload that. You just need to hit Edit Properties and Change. And there you go. Step four, save. So if you're going to save your 3D model like this, this is going to now be your base look for this model. So it's not going to come out in that light blue anymore. See, it's got the same color as if you had cloned it. You can also double check the dimensions, change things if you need to. But you don't have to save it. You can keep it as that light blue, uh, just base model if you want to. It's totally up to you. Again, you can always make changes to it in Neo afterwards, even if that is your base. And then you can go into your staging items, add different things to it. You can also adjust, you know, resize and everything if you want to as well. And then click render and you are good to go. Here is our finished render. Thank you and happy designing.